Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back here to my channel where I play Planet 2. Uh, today, yeah, my name is Nisse, sorry. Uh, and today we're gonna take a look at the Persian uh, Unaker. And it's a mud made by Leaf, Trumpet and J2 Bigs. I think uh, if I pronounce anything wrong, it's both in the name of this video and in the description so sorry if i mispronounce anything but we have this beautiful creatures and we have quite a few colorations here going on so let's just jump right into Supedia here and here you can see the persian onager uh, near threatened and there are 600 left in the wild they lived in asian uh, more specifically, Iran uh, in desert biomes. One of them need 450 square meters of land, and a second need 70 more, and a baby needs 35 more. Um, boom, 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 boom. They live for 2 to 33 degrees Celsius, and you need a grade to fence 5 feet tall. It's a meter and 60, 70 around there. Uh, you can have a group from 1 to 8, that would be 1 male and 7 females, up to 3 in a male group, and up to 8 in a female group. Well, uh, one dominant male per breeding group. They are polyamorous, shy around humans, and humans should not enter the habitat. This is not a pretty little horse you want to pet. This is a wild animal. Uh, the males grow to four foot nine at the shoulder, and the females four foot six. Um, that would be around uh, a meter and a half uh, for the females, and the males a bit taller. They live for around 40 years, that's quite a lot, and the males weigh around 485 pounds, that's 242 kilos, and the females 430 pounds, uh, 215 kilos. Uh, reach sexual maturity at age 3. They can reproduce until they die. They get one offspring every year, and they are they get one offspring per year, and they're pregnant for 13 months. Something doesn't add up here. <laughs> um, they should get be easy to get to reproduce in captivity, and no interstices enrichments. But we have a lot of normal enrichment over here. So we have the two skittles. Then we have a football and a snowball and a grab ball, a herbs and marker there. And then we have the rubbing pillar and the two rubbing threes. Then we have the big uh, barrel, the uh, ball, what's it called again? A uh, grazing ball feeder and the hay uh, grazer feeder. So. Um, I can't find the male here, meaning that there's probably no ch uh, difference in them. So let's just take a look at it's the male here. And looking at them out here when I play, they actually look very airbrushed. Um, which doesn't l look that lifelike, but when you get in here you get a lot of individual strands of hair. You have a tiny bit of glitching some places. Um, my computer works very hard today, so that might be it. But one thing that isn't my computer is here. See, it's see-through. That's not my computer, that's the mod. And it's on both sides. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's the mod. But again, when you just play your game, you would never know. I do like that all of the muscles and the bones you can see here. It's a very beautiful made. Sorry, I can't stop looking at that. But it is very beautiful, the rest of the face here. And 
the hair up here. We have some issues with uh, out here, you can see. But that is pretty much what you get with every single animal, also the ones made by Frontier. Um, but again, we have a lot of individual strands of hair, which I really love. Uh, this line down here isn't a massive line, it's made by hair strands. Trying to find a, the best viewing point to see it here. I think you can see it here. You see the small lines here? So it made uh, by, uh, not real hair, but it looks like it made by hair and not just painted on. Down here again we see this bony uh, structure uh, and the muscles, which again bring it much more to life. The detail here is very, very big out here. Um, and then we have the fluffy issue that we get with all everything in Planet Zoo, where fluff doesn't really work. So it does look very, very weird. But besides that, again, the legs here, we have so many individual strands and hair. And down here, the hoofs looks beautiful. Um, I do believe we also have a see-through line here. Very thin. Um... And normally some of the hair strands would cover down here and go a little outside of a uh, kind of hang lightly over the hoof, uh, which it doesn't do here. But that's kind of my only complaints about this. There are the things where it's see-through and the things with the hair there. But besides that, it's beautiful. So why don't we see it move a little bit here? Beautiful and see how it runs. So beautiful. And in the back here, we can see a swimmer and they swim as they should. Maybe I would like them to be just a tiny bit uh, higher up in the water, but that's the only issue. This is possible. We have some mods that actually do dive a meter under the water. These doesn't. Uh, they just. Uh, a tiny bit too low and that's not uh, nearly as bad as the rest of it. Then over here we have the baby. Oh, can you... Little baby stay here. There. So we have the baby here. Mm. I have seen this before in other mud where the eyelids uh, looks like the eye is closed, so they're all sitting down here. But if I do this, oh, that helped, didn't it? Yeah, that helped a lot. So it was just blinking or something like that. Uh, the hair up here make the same issues. Actually, it's kind of funny that the dark color starts out here and not in here where I would think it would start. Um, the tail is probably wet at this point but it have some weird lines there and there but the structure here is very beautiful it isn't as bony as as muscular as the parent but uh, that's not uh, that's very baby like not to have the same kind of muscles here we get the lines here which are the rig it mates on um not the biggest issue because as you saw i should really in here to capture that um i don't even know can we get it? yeah in here i need to go to see them again so again not not a big issue because you have to kind of look for it to find it um so actually very good mud sorry going for i'm trying to look at its feet here Okay, we can't see them, but um, let's see it move. And now you're going for a swim. Yeah. Do you swim as you should? No, you swim too low. Here you can see uh, the babies clearly swim too low. The adults swim better. Uh, do we have? We have another baby here to look at. Here you can see the tail. It's actually a better tail than the adults, and down here with the hoof. 
Um, no see-throughness, but you again get this straight line with no hairs covering it, which it would have naturally. Um, but I would like to see you run a bit around, so would you do that? Yeah. It's very cute. It's a very good mod. It has its small issues, but nothing that very that uh, affect the way we play the game. Um, yeah. No. They are very cute, so... Just gonna jump over here, and then I actually don't have anything else to say to you today. So you know the drill, guys. Like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time I upload a video. I really hope to see you again. I'll in the comments below or in the next video. Bye, guys.